This week, I got a tiny little parcel. Let me tell you all about it. So this is the Octopus Home Mini. Let's see what's in the box. Don't need that. I do need that. Okay, so it's got a little plug and it's got a charging cable and a little instruction leaflet. Cool, that's all we need. Let's get it plugged in so we can get it set up and see what this thing really does. Okay, cool, straight away, the LED's on. What does, what do the instructions say? It's made from recycled plastic. It's been designed to make it be fast and simple. Okay, cool. So we just need to scan this QR code and it'll take us to the app. Well, simple. But before we start, let's have a little bit of a closer look. So this is hashtag Tide. It's got the octopus branding. Have to look up hashtag Tide later on. But yeah, really simple little device, bit of a button, nice octopus, cool. Right, let's get into the app. So we just need to scan this QR code. And it's gonna take us to just straight over to the app, Brill. And this is a new page I've not seen before, so let's get you set up. Terms and conditions, obviously reading those in detail. Gonna give it some access to my location. Gonna let it connect to Bluetooth. Okay. Will it find this home mini? I'm not gonna speed this up at all, so let's just see how quick and simple the process is. Nice little rocket animation. What's a rocket got to do with Octopus? Okay, cool, there it is. So click on that home mini and I've got to give it its Wi-Fi password. Our password's one of those kind of generic things. So I went and got that, entered the password. Takes a while to connect to the Wi-Fi and there we go. So it's now it's gonna set up the home mini. Well, 42% done, 57. Getting there. Here we go. Brill, we're all set up. Some time later. Okay, so now we're set up. What does it show us? Um, the Octopus app's kind of fun. It's got lots of data already, so you can see what you've used in the last year, in the current month and, and previous months, the current week. And then actually, this is new now. It's seeing what you've used today. You used to be able to look at yesterday's data, so all the half hourly data from yesterday, but that's how much energy we've used in the last couple of hours. And then you can see, because of the Octopus Home Mini, the last 30 minutes and the last five minutes of use. The last five minutes is updating every 10 seconds, so it's suggesting we're using 91 watts now. And you can see that we're using a certain number of watt hours in a 10 second period. And that's, a kind of, that's kind of meaningless in terms of the energy we're using, 0.3 watt hours, what does that really mean? But when you start using more energy, you'll notice it in this graph. It's amazing how excited you can get for a new bit of tech, particularly free tech. But what is the point of this Octopus Home Mini? Is this gonna change that much for us? Is it helpful data? Or is too much data just too much data? So I am really pleased to get one of these. I'm definitely not the first person to get one, but I signed up for the waiting list a few months back and now we have it and it's working. This little device will give me more or less real time data on our energy use in our home or ele our electricity use in our, in our home. It's a bit like the in-home display that you might get on your, through your smart meter, but this is through my Oxford app too. So I can look at it wherever I want. So why is this at all interesting? Well, it will allow me to understand when and where we're using energy. Maybe the heat pump has come on when we weren't really, when we don't really need it. Um, maybe we hadn't realised how much energy a certain device uses or a bit of uh, bit of kit in the kitchen or something. 
and therefore we might be a bit more careful about what we use and when we use it. We could work out what our base load is and then see how we could reduce that. How much power does our home just use uh, through all our devices being plugged in, all that kind of thing. And then if we're taking part of one of the octopus saving sessions that we have done in this last winter, we might be able to be a bit more responsive with turning things off. And it also gives some insight in real time back to octopus. Without this device, my understanding is that half hourly energy data is sent over to our supplier once a day. So we can only look at this data when the supplier has processed it. The octopus mini means that we can see what is happening much more quickly. And that could help with, with changing our behavior to use less energy or to use energy at different times. And in the future, it may allow an organization like Octopus to signal in real time when we'll be good to use energy and when we should avoid based on the way that the grid is working, the way that the wind is blowing or the sun is shining. It could maybe be helpful. And recently we've moved back onto the Octopus Agile tariff. That's the tariff that moves up and down with the wholesale price of electricity. And my calculation, I think this means that we're using electricity on average around 18 or 19 pence per kilowatt hour compared to the price guarantee at 34 pence per kilowatt hour, which is a big win. And it looks like the Agile tariff at the moment will be much cheaper for us than the Octopus Co Cozy tariff that we have been on the last few months. So now because of the Agile tariff, our prices are changing each half hour and being able to monitor energy use in real time live could therefore help us save a little bit more money. It could be particularly interesting when we are heating the house again in the autumn, watching the spikes of, the, of demand of the heat pump. And that could help us be able to understand why, it, why it's working particularly hard at different times. And then using that understanding to tinker with some settings in a heat pump to try and improve efficiency. So it could be really helpful to have that live energy data. Anyway, I am interested in energy data. I spend some time almost every day at work looking at half hourly data of buildings that I help run in, in, in my job and trying to work out how we could reduce demand across that, those buildings. Often this data is only available a couple of days after the event. So it'd be great for me at work to have this kind of live data. And I'm chuffed to be able to, to trial something like this at home first. I like Octopus. I like the smart tariffs that they have for people to use. I like the, the way that they're trying to build a heat pump service. And I like devices like this little guy. Good work, Octopus. And if you wanted to switch to Octopus to try some of this stuff out, my referral code will be below. If you did, we'd share a hundred pounds. So worthwhile. And if you already have a smart meter with Octopus, then just search Octopus Home Mini and join the waiting list. Thanks for watching. I've not had a chance to do lots of videos on this channel recently, um, but maybe I'll get a chance to in the coming weeks and months. It'd be great to hear how things are going in terms of searching for that low carbon lifestyle.